Do you need to drink lots of water before your electrology treatment? The short answer is no, you don't. Today, drinking lots of water to hydrate the skin is an accepted recommendation in our electrology profession. Even the world's largest and most trustworthy electrology association recommends drinking plenty of water. It's right here on their homepage. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Drinking plenty of water helps unwanted hair slide right out. This highly respected and legitimate electrology source says the same. Want to improve your electrolysis hair removal experience? Try drinking more water. Pretty much everything about your electrolysis treatment works better if you drink the right amount of water per day. Insertions will be easier, your treatments will be safer and more effective, you may even experience less discomfort. Plus, drinking enough water is good for you anyway. This is not necessarily a bad recommendation because they qualify the statement by saying the right amount of water. However, the article goes on to suggest that drinking water will add water to the skin and thus provide better treatments. And that's not the case. Both of these highly respected sources are excellent, but this recommendation is not backed up by medical authorities. I'm going to offer evidence that drinking water does not hydrate the skin. My reason for making this video came about after I watched an electrology video that advised clients to drink a gallon of water every day. She also recommends that her clients drink several glasses of water before an electrology appointment. If a little is good, a lot would be better. I've been harping on this dubious suggestion for several years. The recommendation goes like this. Our currents need moisture to work, so drink more water to make your skin more hydrated. In this way, the currents work better and we can use lower current levels and you'll experience less pain. Problem is, science does not support this assertion. Problem is, drinking too much water can cause health problems. Problem is, drinking too much water can even cause death. Yes, just too much water. Here's a quote from Dr. Zeichner. He's a board-certified dermatologist practicing at Cedar sinai in New York City. It is a complete myth that we should drink a lot of water to maintain hydrated skin. Water, first and foremost, enters the bloodstream and is then filtered by the kidneys. There is no data to show that drinking more or less water leads to the skin's quality. In fact, there's even evidence that shows you shouldn't be drinking eight glasses of water a day. This video is by popular and well-known Dr. Berg. Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this short video, we're going to talk about the water myth. I know you were taught that you need to drink eight glasses of water a day. I was taught that. Everyone knows that. That's what they say you need to do. Well, someday I'm going to find out who they is because every time I find out uh, a concept that everyone is doing because we just have to do it, I'm suspect because it turns out most of those recommendations end up to be false down the road. So um, I guess the common thought is you have to drink half of your body weight in ounces. So if I'm 200 pounds, that's 100 ounces. That's 12 and a half glasses of water a day. That's a lot of water and that's eight ounce glasses. Okay. Number five, water helps dry skin. Not true. Dry skin is a def uh, deficiency of vitamin A. Um, and that's in the skin. That is in the eyes. It's in the dry mouth. Your body will dry out when it doesn't have the oils and the fat, not the water. Same thing with your joints. Your joints are lubricated and your, your skin is lubricated and it will look young when you have oil and fat, but it's not water. The people that drink the most water actually are the most dehydrated. Now, how can that be? Because the, the difference in electrolytes, there's a condition called hyponatremia, and that is a condition where you can die of and it's drinking too much water because it's gonna flush out all the electrolytes and the cells are gonna swell because they have no electrolytes to mobilize the fluid. Even your 
brain will swell. You can even have a coma, a heart attack, uh, enlarged liver, okay? seizures. So all these things can come by drinking so much water. All right, so I um, probably drink on a given day maybe two, maybe three cups of water a day. That's what I drink. Your body adjusts. If you drink less, you'll pee less. If you drink more, you'll pee more. Your body's always trying to maintain natural balance. Um, I personally drink uh, Pellegrino because I like the carbonation. Some people don't. I like this. It's mineral water, naturally from the, uh, I think it's Italy. And this is what I drink. Um, but you could just drink filtered water. But here's the thing. Make sure you only drink when you're thirsty. And if you have someone pushing this water on you, just go ahead and send this video. I'll see you in the next video. Dr. Berg mentioned hyponatremia. Let's see what the Mayo Clinic has to say. Hyponatremia occurs when the concentration of sodium in your blood is abnormally low. Sodium is an electrolyte and it helps regulate the amount of water that's in and around your cells. In hyponatremia, one or more factors ranging from an underlying medical condition to drinking too much water cause the sodium in your blood to become diluted. When this happens, your body's water levels rise and your cells begin to swell. This swelling can cause many health problems from mild to life-threatening. Hyponatremia treatment is aimed at resolving the underlying condition. Depending on the cause of hyponatremia, you may simply need to cut back on how much you drink. In other cases of hyponatremia, you may need intravenous electrolyte solutions and medications. Dr. Lowe had this to say, In more severe cases, water intoxication can also cause seizures or loss of consciousness. If a person doesn't receive treatment, water intoxication can be fatal. As fluids build up in the body, all of its cells, including brain cells, begin to swell. Swelling in the brain can eventually lead to coma, seizures, and death if a doctor doesn't treat it quickly. This article describes psychogenic polydipsia. This is a mental disorder that causes the patient to drink excessive amounts of water. If you'd like to read the article, pause the video so you can read it yourself. Here's a statement by two well-known celebrity dermatologists. Pause the video if you wish to read it. It's a good one. This statement is by a popular esthetician, again with a huge following. Pause the video if you wish to read it. As I see it, there are two problems for electrologists that recommend drinking plenty of water. First, drinking more water than needed does not superhydrate the skin. The skin is not like a sponge. We don't drink water and the skin sucks it up. There's no reason to recommend drinking more water than required. Drinking more water, hydrate, 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 has no effect on the electrolysis treatment. Of course, our treatment relies on moisture in the skin. However, you can't make your skin more hydrated by drinking more water. The second problem, and it's the big one, is that recommending plenty of water is basically offering medical advice. Besides, for a client, drinking plenty of water could mean a couple glasses of water or a whole gallon. Furthermore, the old rule, drinking half your body weight in ounces, has been refuted by all medical authorities. Most clients think that we're medical experts. We look like it and we sound like it. However, except for several nurses who practice electrology, the vast majority of us have little to no medical background at all. Unfortunately, our suggestions are taken as gospel, as actual medical advice. Ask yourself if you've ever had an obsessive or over-the-top client, somebody that will go to the extreme on your recommendations. I have. I suppose most of our clients are a little OCD. Furthermore, such conditions as bipolar disorder are not rare. Nearly all of us have some sort of mental issue. Do we really want to give our clients something else to stress over? Fifteen years ago, a good friend's brother who suffered from bipolar disorder, drank copious amounts of water during an episode to cleanse out the toxins. 
Actually, cleansing is common in bipolar disorder. Sadly, this young man was hospitalized, and he died. One day, a client will drink too much water and get in serious trouble. And those of us who have been recommending plenty of water will be held accountable. A sharp attorney will definitely be able to make the case. There's a lot to think about here. Just be sure you don't leave yourself wide open to a lawsuit for recommending something that has no scientific merit. Thanks for watching. I expect this video to spark controversy. Please leave a comment and subscribe.